All right, so let's call this um, meeting of the Unionville Historic District and Properties Commission um, together. Kelly? Um, <laughs> um, today is January 4th at 7 o'clock p.m. You just made it in time. No, no, no. No, that's great. Good to see you. Um, Happy New Year, everybody. We are going to um, start out by reviewing and approving the December 7th, 2023 minutes. Did you all have an opportunity to read them? Yes. Yeah. Nice and short. Right. And if you're absent, but you read the minutes, you can vote. I don't know if we have enough votes. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah, if you read the minutes, you can approve the votes. Okay. Yeah, you okay. Can vote to approve. All right, okay. <clears throat> Any conversation or changes about the minutes? No? Can I have a motion to approve? <clears throat> I make a motion that we approve the minutes from the December 7th meeting. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Bob. Okay, can I have a second? Second. Second. Thank you, Matt. Thank you, Matt. Um, any discussion changes about the minutes? Hearing none, all in favor of approving the minutes, please indicate by saying aye. 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 Any nays? No. All right. Minutes approved. Thank you. Well, we don't have Barbara with us this evening. She's not going to be able to attend. But uh, let's start out by talking about the 2024 walking tour, um, which at our last meeting we had decided we would um, due in September or October because this past year was very successful but very hot. Um, so that I think was our largest decision you know, about the the walking tour. But Steve, you have some uh, things you've been working on for that program. Um, well, just really cursory uh, starting. Uh, today I took a bunch of pictures of all the uh, older houses on the uh, <clears throat> east side, mm -hmm. the time of day up there. <laughs> um, I'm, and and uh, I emailed the church as far as uh, appealing to them to give us, allow us to park, have a number of parking spaces, and to set up a tent with tables and chairs. And I also invited them to possibly share some of the history of the old church and the property if they would like to, Jeez. but it's not necessary. Uh, I told them it was going to be in the fall, probably September, but uh, we haven't picked a date yet, but we can also work around their schedule and coordinate with them to see which days, which dates are them as well. So, Good. Uh, other than that, you know, I'm <clears throat> probably like the Lovely Street walking tour. I'm going to focus on a lot of the architectural styles that are there on the houses on Main Street, uh, history of the architectural styles in a similar way, um, and uh, possibly back up others who are going to do uh, research on the families that live there or the uh, original owners, the builders, and the folk who uh, made their mark and lived in those houses. So, Great. Um, other than that, uh, that's about it Good. so far. <laughs> Sidewalks are much better there. Good. Uh, <clears throat> traffic is just as scary as it is on Lovely Street, but you feel mm -hmm. safer because of the, the width, the mm -hmm. you know, <laughs> Yeah. Proportions of the sidewalks and the, the conditions of the sidewalks, and the, so it's um, okay. And, yeah. um, <clears throat> I know that Barbara um, cc'd an email that she sent to um, Patty Laboutier at the museum, mm. letting her know. Did, were you all? Did she send that to all of you as well? Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. So you also saw the answer that they have a schedule already for September, October. Um, so we have two choices, um, it appears to me. We could move our <clears throat> program back a month 
in August, that's one choice, to try to fit into their schedule. Or we could leave our program in September or October and look for another venue. We can think about that for a month and right. get into the museum just because it's there. Although I know that's yeah. a whole other yeah. exhibit and everything that goes with that. But if not, it, especially like if it's not like a great a great day out, kind of like you know, yeah, yeah, or just even restroom, <laughs> just. You well, know. that's right. Um, I, off the top of my head, can't think of another church with us. Can you? No, there's a church. Um, well, it's it's an option. You mean the you mean the Catholic Church? Yeah. yeah, yeah that's right. Because yeah. you know that. get on their lawn. Now we want to get inside. <laughs> <laughs> Do they have a basement area? Do they have? I've never been in a. I've only been on the ground floor area. Um, I really have too, but I've got to believe. I mean, that was a big undertaking that they would have something for Sunday school, for uh, catechism. Yes, yeah. Or heating equipment down below, I would think. Huh. A crawl space or something. <clears throat> but their bathrooms are on this one level. Okay. As well as everything else. Okay. Um, so I'm, going to, I'm not yeah. sure if I <clears throat> I'm getting this right. I don't know if I was not paying attention <clears throat> during last meeting, but are we saying that we also we want to do an exhibit similar to the one we did for Lovely Street as well as a walking tour? So my impression was that we were just going to do a walking tour. Mm -hmm. We were going to set up a tent, have some tables and chairs. Uh, you know, greet people, hopefully, at the uh, mm -hmm. St. Mary's of the Sea yep. uh, church property as a base, and that gives us, you know, going up on the east side, coming back on the west side, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and coming returning on the lower e east side, yeah. whatever, <laughs> the southern east side. So, <laughs> so we create this loop. I, yeah. I really didn't get the impression that okay. we were going to have an, an exhibit Another as well. Exhibit. I mean, I would love to. I mean, why not? Um, I don't know. I haven't gotten any feedback from my girlfriend, who's the treasurer at the museum, as far as uh, what Patty's, uh, you know, gut feeling is. Um, I haven't spoken to Patty or well, Tim Leboutier. Well, this was uh, Barbara. I should pull up the email, but she sent Patty an email, and Patty responded. So. Um, well, I'm fine with if we were able to have the walking tours and also provide some other information on the property of the church. I'm fine with that. I don't, I don't feel the need to have another exhibit. How, how do you feel, Bob? Do you feel? Well, we've done it before without doing the exhibits yeah. or participating with the museum. Yep. It was it was very handy and also. Um, while they were waiting for tours, they were able to go inside and keep going, yeah. as well as learn more about what they're going to be seeing on the tour. Mm -hmm. Yeah, a great, a great way to to enlighten the public about what the Historic District Commission is about, mm -hmm. um, and uh, cross promote the museum mm -hmm. uh, as well. It's ideal. It's really ideal. Uh, but we should be prepared to be able to go on our own and do it. Yeah, yeah. On our own. <clears throat> How do you say it? On plein air, uh -huh. <laughs> you yeah. know, under yeah. the tent, pick yeah. the good weather, hope for good. Yeah. Uh, have some chairs, have some tables. We could talk there. Yeah. Um, you know, before the tour, after the tour. So, uh, but again, maybe there's an alternate venue. What about the uh, the kids? Uh, what do you call it? The Center. The stone church next door. Oh. It's the um, yeah. youth center. Is that youth? Um, mm -hmm. And I think that has a fairly wide open. Space uh, that's yeah. often used for karate or okay. you know yeah. some kind of ballet. activities yeah. and ballets. Yes, yeah. Not yeah. anymore, but they did. It won't yeah. Yeah, they that's did. also an annex, the library annex. 
which is it usually taken over by the STEM programs, the robotics, and alternative. That's going to um, be the home right. of the. That's going to be the home of the uh, school district IT staff this summer, until our new digs are built in for February twenty twenty five. <laughs> what in the stone building? You mean no, no, no the annex. In, oh, the, I mean, annex. Oh. the old school because the old school is going to be moving up to the new high school, and we have to vacate because they're going to start demo on the new high school uh, on the old high school. Um, the my myself and my staff are moving into the annex until okay. uh, the new central office is ready in in uh, February twenty twenty five. Okay. The museum is uh, parlaying for that. They're coveting. They're hoping because right now they have one room. Yeah. yeah. Or no, yeah. two rooms. Yeah. For archives yeah. there. Yeah. 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 Just... Oh, Florida two. ceiling. Yeah. yeah. And we'd yeah. have to check the the youth center. They've actually revived a youth program, and have been doing mm -hmm. some work in the youth center. So we, we would have we just have to check on that. As so what I I haven't been in there in a couple of months, so I don't know if they've done any work inside yet or not. But I do know that there are some. They're trying to get some youth programs going again in that building. Okay. Okay. I wonder if the annex space could be temporarily <clears throat> utilized. You know, there's there's a main there's a big room in the center, and then there's a bunch of no. rooms I, on well, either I, side. Sorry, Steve, sorry, Steve, but we're filling that with all of our stuff. So like, it, like, it, like when I tell right? you, like I, I, I'm, I've already, I mean, I'm aware that the museum usually spreads some stuff out in the summertime to go through their archives, which we're going to keep room for, but myself and my staff and all of our, all of the IT materials that live at the high school are moving down there until February, 2025. Okay. Understood. Okay. All right. Understood. All right. Well, um, I think the fire department's also vying for that space too. In the oh, yeah. Really? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, anyway. <clears throat> all right. So there, we could check out the availability of the youth center, and we're primarily are we primarily talking about bathrooms here? Yes. Or yeah. are we thinking about? Or uh, as far as having a base, having a, a mm -hmm. indoor facility, having facilities to. But should we park? Near the in that oh. church area, like or the, uh, the church parking well, lot. Well, I wrote I wrote an email. Okay. And 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 asked if we could have parking space and a space for a tent. Uh, so if they say yes, chairs. then we would have both. But if they right. didn't, yeah, because yeah. that that was the other thing that was just kind of nice about having a building. Yeah. 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 Location. Oh, and in the bathroom. Could we in use the bathroom. bathroom. Yes. Well, no. Um, yeah. Well, we could mm -hmm. offer to clean them before and after and mm -hmm. bring in toilet paper or something. We'll, okay. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think it would be a big amount. I could just imagine it's not going to be like a big need, but you know, someone right. will say. Right. right. <laughs> Maybe one of us, even. Maybe one of us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, well, we're we'll, home. We'll, yeah. What about Maybe the Carnation Church? Them. Yeah, I think that's an option. Um, they have no parking, though. No, we still have the we same do parking the if, but, Yeah, but if they do it on a weekend, people could park down in the Union School right. parking lot, and right? Georgia's. And George's, and yeah. Well, and around the around the museum. And the, yeah, and, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Let's see, we have like what, five houses on Main Street? Yes, designated or uh, registered, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Registered, yeah. 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 Way too few. Yeah, that's true. Way too few. Because there's so many nice ones. There's such a cluster of yeah, there are. Um, the the other thing is, sorry, um, that congregational church does rent out rooms for fifteen bucks. Really mm -hmm. cheap. Oh my really cheap. So we could actually we could rent, rent a room. It. Yes. As a backup, as mm -hmm. for weather, uh, yeah, other display. I don't know but that yeah. that. Uh, okay. Maureen, Maureen, uh, my girlfriend just informed me of that. Okay. Is that if you have an event, mm -hmm. they have some nice rooms, not in the basement where the museum has its storage. Yeah. But uh, or the yeah, uh, what do you call them? Classrooms for. Um, they have the Sunday school classrooms. Sunday school like classrooms. That, that, but no, it's it's an upper. They're okay. nicer rooms in the upper okay. main floor, so that could be. All right. An, uh, option or. That's a great option. 
Right. So we've got choices here. We can. Uh, yeah. All right. Um, yeah. So if we only are we just doing a tour of five houses? Is that? No. Kind of understand. Of course. Uh, so with the with Lovely Street, we just put like a little marker next to the homes that were part of the district, oh, even okay. though there was a lot more Bullying. homes. On, yeah. Yeah. Okay. We'll, we'll do the whole. We talked. We talked last uh, meeting going from bridge to bridge, so okay. going from the Iron Bridge to whatever the Mill Bridge on the other side. Um, Ryan's Bridge, right? It used to be Ryan's Bridge at one time. Oh, was it really? Huh. No. The Lawton Bridge, the Lawton Mill Bridge, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, well, it's also another opportunity, like Lovely Street was, is to you know drop letters and the homes of all the people who who have houses, you know, not necessarily old but significant, yeah. architecturally or, or, and yeah. so on, is to, is kind of a, rec a recruitment right. strategy. And then and then the people on the tour, you start to identify. Well, that's a craftsman. That's a Greek revival. That's a Victorian. These are early 19th century, and these are late 19th century. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And you don't have to go at any great length to that. You know, we're going to emphasize the homes that are registered. But why not point out, you know, these houses should be registered? Or yeah, I wish, so yeah. I don't know. I mean, it's how you go about it, you know, and um, yeah. Yeah. pique the interest and try to muster up excitement. So, yeah, get some excitement yeah. going. Great. Yeah. Okay, that's right. Letters too. Um, people I think would open their doors probably would be the Schlegels for their house. Um, other than that, I don't know. You know what address that, that is? Eighty nine, I believe. And they're registered. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> I, I can't speak for them, but I think they'd be the most likely. Candidates. Have you spelled their name? Uh, C H L E G Legal. Yeah, L S. C H L E G E L. Right. Two E's. Yeah, two E's. Two E's. Two E's. According to the text. Yeah. C H L E G E L. Joni, she's a, she used to be a teacher and she's still doing yeah. some teaching. Uh, she's retired. And Larry Seigel used to be a, a school psychiatrist. Mm -hmm. 198? Yeah, 198 is there. 198. I had a transfer. Well. What was it? Yeah. yeah. Thank you. <clears throat> That's on Bidwell there. That's a big Victorian. Oh, and they have a beautiful house. It is. It's a beautiful house. And they've kept it in the old, well, except for the new edition part. But the rest of it is in just like it was in 1800s. They don't even have a dishwasher. <laughs> and their refrigerator's in the closet. <laughs> this one? <clears throat> yes. Yeah. Beautiful beech tree in the front. That tree is it. I could take a picture of it. How yes, it? yeah. Isn't it? Enormous. You, Bob, do you know them well enough to ask wow. them, just casually, or...? Yeah, I could do that. Yeah, just to feel them out, see if we'd sure. be interested oh, in doing. Yeah, it's an yeah. option to maybe get a on property walkabout. Hmm. Yeah. yeah, we yeah. Like yeah. were invited on to a few properties. Yeah, that's uh, right. Oh, yeah, it's wonderful to have the owners talk to people. There's a freshness and an enthusiasm that. Oh, your uh, husband was great. Yeah. <laughs> when we went to your house. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, he had a lot of fun with that. Um, yeah, maybe we can think of others. Um, yeah, okay. Think of others. That's a great idea. Um, can't think of a one's in the yellow house. Uh, the Vibberts, John and Dan and Vibberts. Yeah. They, might, they might do that. I could ask oh, them. They'd be great. Yeah. I could tell you a few things. Yes, I could. Um, this house. Uh, no, no, what is the, uh, there 126. Uh, this one. Yeah. Oh. A couple of houses there, oh, okay. maybe. Oh, look at those great photos you have. That's wonderful. Right next to the blue one. That's a great 
And that's I know that. this is the Robotham House. That's the Robotham it's House. Still Robotham? It's still the Robotham House. Yeah. It's fabulous, and they take. This has got to be one of the older houses, 1836. Yeah. He might show us too. Okay. They're not registered. But oh, he, no, they're registered. Oh, yeah, they, they were one yeah. of the first houses. Oh. Yeah. Oh. That's 230. If I remember right. Oh. Um, uh, uh, 120. Uh, the number? Yeah, they're 120. The Vibberts are 126. Oh, okay. I love that house. I tried to get Ted to look at it when it was for sale. Yeah, he wouldn't do it. Um, yeah, that's a great building. 1836. Color scheme. The Robotham's house, yeah, and they keep it. It's pristine. That's great. We never know. So, Matt, we're looking at pictures of houses yep. that Steve took today, so... That's why you're getting moans and yeah. I'm seeing the ones Garrett's pulling up on the screen too. So Oh, okay. Okay, good. And, and that's my that's my walking route, so I'm familiar with those as well. <laughs> <laughs> that's it. That's great. These are wonderful. Yeah. That's a fabulous house. Yeah. That's a fabulous house. The uh, brown the brownstone one, Matt, the one yep. Jack Kemper used to own. Yep. That's a fabulous yep. uh, building. That's the um, the Kafka's now, I believe. What's the name? Kafka. Kafka. Yeah. Yep. Kafka. K -A -F -K -A. Yep. Nice. Be quite old too. Yeah. Oh yeah. Um, what was that? A, a captain. 1830. 1830. Yeah. Isn't that something? That's a that's a beautiful building. A captain or something? I don't think so. Military. Remember. I love this one. Yeah. We believe Hillary belongs in prison, <laughs> Joe belongs in a nursing home, and Trump belongs in the White House. <laughs> I won't say what address that is. <clears throat> it's white Italian no. Love it. Yeah. Love it. Yeah, it's part of the accoutrements, right? <laughs> oh, gosh. Yeah. I know. I know. Look, people come by and try to get the seeds from that tree. Oh, really? Or one like it. It's gorgeous. Oh my that's some All right. 98. Well, we've got some it's fa not only fabulous buildings, but great story. And, of course, that one, fabulous. Yeah, you didn't get to the one at the base of Huckleberry. Oh, you Still did? Still in Farmington. Oh. Yep, yep. Yeah. And yeah, that one might be hard just because there's no sidewalks there in the corner. Right. So I know. That's oh a my. death trap right at the intersection. Oh, my back well. That one, I no. think, was canal side. I bet you it was what, a big... This, what, the little on, one? Yeah. Little that canal. little guy. Not the ranch, ranch, on, that other one. I didn't take a picture of it. Yeah. That oh, one. on the canal. Yeah, that one. That's that old. That's old. Whoa, oh, that's yeah. a lot look roomy. Right. That's old as dirt. I bet you that was a business right on, yeah. right on the canal. It's just the location. No? It, makes, it would make total sense. You know anything about that building, uh, Matt? The, the uh, no. one at the, just at the bridge? I, I remember us looking info up about it, and I think it's, it's a yeah. family right now, I believe. But it I, is, I, yeah. Um, I know Garrett had the property card up there, and it said 1850. So my guess is it should be on the rental uh, house. Yeah, rental yeah, house. yeah. Rental. William Griswold Rental House, number one. Yeah. Huh. Just William Griswold, yeah. Yeah, a lot of the houses on Perry Perry Street, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And several houses on Main Street were built as rental houses. As re correct. For, for the mills. For workers, and it's. Yeah, it's really fascinating. That part of the story is so interesting. The, you've got the inventors and the managers, um, but you've also got other people in these uh, smaller buildings. Yeah. Um, yeah, a lot of great stories. Um, it'd be fun to get somebody who is a descendant of one of the original families. I'm thinking of the Roar Bidwells or... Um, well, you, Matt. <laughs> You're a descendant. <laughs> <They're>, <laughs> what's your father doing on this day? He was a I, well, I'm not sure. <laughs> um, we'll, we'll find out. Yes. <laughs> yeah, that would be a lot of fun. I'm going to write that down. All right. So they're descendants. Great. Well, even, right. I mean, the, the 
I mean, the Vibberts have been on Main Street for a long time. Oh, yeah, um, yeah that's true. They're, they're that's true. Wonderful. Yeah. Yeah, I'll talk to John and Dana. I, I know they'd love to do something. Um, so that would be, even if they stood on their porch and just talked to people. Yeah. Um, that would be great. That would be great. Okay. And I, I mean, that's Good. my so, father could, te could tell you who lived there, lived on Main Street when he was a kid and knows some of the... Yeah the backstory or the history as it relates to the mills and stuff like that. But I don't know, like, I know the Ingridsons used to live on main street too. Um, that Pete grew up on main street, um, when he was a kid. So, yeah. but I, I mean, I can ask him and see if he, if he's got any others. Yeah. I just ask him. I think it would be yeah. fun. Um, Sometimes it's just pleasant to have another another voice and another perspective on these tours. You know, it's uh, yeah. um, and I think the presence of the canals. It's always fascinated me. I I still haven't really truly figured them out, but you you know the canal ran along Perry Street, yeah. um, so it's in the back of the buildings on the west side of uh, Main Street. Yeah. Um, yeah. And I just love thinking about. I love thinking about the, what. What they smelled like. I mean, they had to smell terrible. Yeah. Um, and yeah. occasionally, you read a story about someone who disappears and they drown, mostly yeah. children, and and dissipated adults coming back from the bars. But um, it's just kind of fascinating. It's not something we have to worry about at all. But I think people are probably worried about them a lot, and or not at all. I don't know. Um, I don't think they worry that much. No, you don't think so. <laughs> Our neighbor used to swim in the canal. Uh, Along Cottage Street, there. Oh, no kidding. Huh. Yeah, they used to go jump, jump in there and cool off. Yeah, yeah. I love that it. might have been even before the pool got going. Yeah. The pool at the end of the street was ice bu bucket. That was really was so cold. Was that spring fed? Was the pool spring, spring fed? fed? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. Great. <laughs> fun. All right, great. Well, this is going to be this is going to be fun. So. So I guess we're turning to you again, Steve, and we're going to ask you to send a PS email. Can we use your bathrooms? <laughs> yep. I know it'll be an elegantly worded uh, email. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, sure. And if they say no, then we'll think about some of our other. That's St. Mary's of the Sea, right? Yeah. 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 Okay. okay from, a, from a timing perspective. We'll <laughs> take the money. I'm sure. What, what Matt? Maybe From a timing in. perspective, I'm just thinking. So we're talking about starting, starting at St. Mary's, going down one side, back up the other, and then uh, making the circle back to St. Mary's. I just know that that stretch from the Congregational Church all the way up to Perry Street, that that's probably a 15 to 20 minute walk at a good clip. Okay. So, just, I mean, timing wise, it, as we're as we're picking out properties and making stops along the way, just keeping that yeah. in mind, because because that's a pretty long that it that's a, that's a pretty long walk. Is with a large. How long was the uh, Lovely Street tour? Was that an hour, or did did it end up being longer? I can't remember. My tours. <laughs> <laughs> well, these were three we're hours. Two, uh, two hours. Right. Yeah. They, what was that? They were over an hour. I think over an hour. Okay. Oh, I think it's like hour and fifteen or something. Okay. It wasn't as long as you. I would say an hour and a half. Hour and a half. Okay. Yeah, All right. Hour and a half. It was a little, well because most times, yeah. Because people don't. Right to the. We went right up. Oh, um, you're hot. Oh, you're stopping. We went right up. Hot. I uh, keep going. <laughs> Yeah. There's, no, there's, no, there's no elevation gain on Main Street. No. Well, plus, you got that going. No. Yeah, plus the sidewalk. Yeah. Yeah. Didn't we go a little farther than Sherman? Yeah. Weeks. I was worried I was going to lose someone. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah. Well, Lovely Street's horrible. That's horrible. Wow. Lovely Street from the museum. Yeah. Okay. 1.2 miles yeah. round trip. That was a lovely street lovely. tour. And that was leaving from the museum. I'm just because right. yeah. the, the church is in the middle of the city. Right. right. Same. Okay. Same. Okay. Absolutely the same. So it's going to okay. be an hour and a quarter, hour and a half, maybe. All right. Yeah, it seems reasonable. Especially if you're stopping. 
Yeah. Of course, if anyone has any issues, if you're going to be, you have to pass by the church anyway to right. get to the other end. Right. If anyone has any issues, I think they can just hop off. Yeah. Okay, good. Um, so we should wait to hear from the church to even consider yes. a, a date. All right, yes. that makes sense. Um, what else do we need to do now? I know Barbara's ready to go on the research, and she's going to <laughs> include some of us in it when she gets going. Um, and I'm sure the museum will allow us to access their archives oh, yeah. again as well. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Oh, yeah. yeah, that's nice. Um, good. Well, I'm excited about this. It's such, that was such fun last year. Did Anne retire from the museum also? You know? I believe so. Oh, yeah? I believe so. Oh, okay. Yeah. Huh. She's still walking. I see her on Farmington Avenue every morning. Oh, yeah. Good. She's a trooper. She is a trooper. She's a tough lady. Tough lady. Wonderful. Wonderful person. Um, all right. Well, we've done, uh, I think we've done well on this. We'll check in um, at our next meeting. See, what else do we need to work on now? You're kind of getting the venue. Um, um, I'm going to keep working on the photographs. Okay. Um, I'll work on the venue, uh, communicating with the church. Okay. Um, and then keep communicating with the museum, <clears throat> with the museum, uh, ensuring that we will have collaborative access yep. to the archives and um, All right. Good. All right. Excellent. Motor forward, then. Excellent. Um, I think that, um, just to move on to another subject, I haven't, the state no longer has or does not at this time have any way to provide training for us as a commission. We've talked about this for a few months. Um, and the Preservation Trust does not have anything either, um, not as a package anyway. So what I'd like to do, um, if in the month of March you think we'll be relatively free, I'd like to do a half an hour review, possibly with um, Jay Bambara, who's, is Jay still yeah. chair of the Farmington Historic uh, District, um, on the you know, what the role of the commission is, what the guidelines are all about, what the legal basis of the development of a historic district is, and so on and so forth, the basics. Um, I know Bob and I have gone through, we, years ago, the Connecticut Trust used to do um, training for commissioners, and we went to one, was excellent, but they're not doing that right now, so I think we're just going to do it on our own. Um, what do you think, Karen? I, th I was going to actually say if you want to invite the members of the Farmington Historic yeah. District as well. Yeah. Um, I would say that you know you have different gui guidelines. I mean the the general guidelines yeah. the same, but but yeah. you have different different items in yours that that Farmington doesn't because um, you've updated yours more recently than Farmington has. But I know you and I had talked about it a while ago, and Shannon wanted to include them as well because right. uh, we do have a the state now has a training requirement for our, the other land use commissions, planning and zoning, ZBA, and wetlands. Yeah. Okay. Um, so it doesn't hurt to, if we're yeah. doing that, we can do some training first. Good, good. Well, we might as well, and with Jay's help, Jay being a lawyer, he'll get all right. the legal stuff uh, <clears throat> down on paper for us, and we'll, then we'll have a training kind of in a file someplace. Yeah. So we can do this when new members come in, rather than waiting for another entity to come in and help us. So let me then, if you agree with that, I'll talk to Jay tomorrow, we'll start to put that together. But I think. March is probably a good month to do it because people will start to um, should be starting to think about their summer renovations of their properties if they're going to do anything, and so that'll get us sort of settled down with the information we need before we get any COA applications. Does that sound okay? So the March meeting then may. The day may and time may change depending on the historic district, Farmington Historic District, um, but we'll work all that out. So you'll get that information next month. We can record it as well. So yeah, we're oh, great. for the seventh, March seventh. That's us. Okay. <clears throat> I don't know what their schedule is. There's the third. No. 
Tuesday. Tuesday. During the day, right? Uh, yeah, they normally start at 5. 5 o'clock, okay. Oh. That's not going to work for us. <laughs> we can coordinate with that. It, we can, or if, if, as long as they know ahead of time. Yeah, yeah. They should be able to remember. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the calendar. We have to yeah. all the time. Yeah. I don't like to do that. Um, do, you th do you think it's better to have an in-person training that is recorded and then the recording is made available, of course, or should we... Rec or should we record it and make the recording available to everybody? I think in in person recorded, because with your knowledge and Jay's knowledge, mm. if anyone has any questions, they can ask them since yeah. you're both here. Um, we'll pay more attention if it's. Yeah. I mean, I I work in. I do. And you have to listen. To recording it's very. You get distracted very easily. Yeah. 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 Good. Okay. Yeah. Always a little bit more fun. Everyone wants it recorded. I can. I used to. Run, I run webinars. I can tell you how many people go back and listen. Very few. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've almost got them. <laughs> Good to know. That's great. All right. That's what we'll do then. Good. Um, yeah, okay. That's all I've got for this evening. Does anybody else have something they'd like to talk about or discuss? <laughs> it might be nice to try to involve high schoolers in this tour. Uh -huh. Somehow, kind of invite them. Oh, wait a second, September. Oh. Well, we could be. We'll do this on a weekend, probably. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, well, just as a <coughs> an opportunity, to maybe um, sort of augment or buttress the research. Mm -hmm. And let the history department know that hey, there's local history research opportunities here. Yep. Presentations, possibly they could help with if if we are able to do an exhibit mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, in some capacity. Just to try to pull in interest mm -hmm. from uh, the high schoolers. Absolutely. Um, you know, to kind of intertwine an educational. Thing and that might also drum up a little more excitement and enthusiasm mm -hmm. from their parents, and then they talk. Mm -hmm. And um, I thought, and I thought about that too, you know, during Lovely Street, but that was summer. Yeah. So, so would you involve them in doing the research on buildings and the histories? And um, they might have options um, mm -hmm. if okay. any are interested in architecture and architectural history, but mm -hmm. maybe more likely. Uh, Residents. You know, the Boy Scouts have to do community. Um, study community. That's part of their major ah. badges to get. Mm -hmm. Before they become eagles. Um, yeah. mm -hmm. That might be a draw. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Maybe, too, we might have a handful of large scale photographs on easels at our center on the green. At the church, and it could be that students could talk about, you know, the number one architectural style in Unionville is Italianate. So, you know, one of the Italianate buildings, and what? How do you know an Italianate building? I don't know, mm -hmm. or something, or yeah. Do they need to offer photography at the high school? Because that was always. Well, there's um, um, uh -huh. right outside the board of ed office. They have a cabinet that they update. Uh -huh. Oh. Yeah. I was just thinking about thinking about the schools, not the high school. I wasn't thinking about. But what about IAR? Do they still do Padilla? <coughs> they do. You know, I don't do know. I'm just thinking that. Could... Oh. Yeah, go ahead, Matt. It's a spring. It's a spring project. So, like the the eighth graders are just getting ramped up now to do their Padilla to then present in April. We're off time. <laughs> yeah, that uh, that's. I mean, it is a good idea to include. And I'm even thinking. I mean, they have a, a small capstone at the high school of students interested in architecture. But there too, we're looking at September, October. So they're mm -hmm. it's the yeah. beginning of the year. They're just getting into their capstone. Um, yeah. Capstone too. The photography. They do have a photography class. A couple of them still running. Um, so in terms of getting photos and stuff, that, that might be a possibility. What about, um, just bouncing off your idea, what if we had a, um, a competition, uh, a, pho a photography competition, where 
and it would be for student ages. And you submit your photographs, and then we have a little panel of three people. None of us will be on it <laughs> to, to judge, uh, you know, a winner, a second, and a third place. Yeah. Um, I, it, yeah. Students now are very visual. I mean, it's the world is so much more visual between Instagram and Facebook and also all the social media is visual. Um, that might be an interesting way to um, get some excitement going ahead of time, and then we would yeah. we would print these and display them at the uh, at the event itself. Yep. Um, is that interesting, or is that kind Absolutely. of I know it's and, and there's opportunity yeah. for public speaking too. You know, public speaking. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, you could present your work. You could talk about your work. Oh um, yeah. Um, so it's not just uh, <clears throat> producing uh, the material. Mm -hmm. So uh, teachers might love that whole sort of opportunity to make okay. it. Yeah, I, mean, I was wondering if the teachers had anything additional with respect to history, but I don't know if they've had anything more than the museum. I'm just thinking, like, if I was an eighth grade teacher and I yeah. am for trip. 20 years, yeah. I would know a lot <laughs> because I've seen and read. Yeah. Well, you know, yeah. I know, maybe nothing more than that. The museum has. I mean, when my kids did it, it was they had to pick like a focus. So a lot of right. them did like Civil War was one or yeah. the Underground Railroad. Yeah. Those types of things. I don't know. They've they've kind of rewritten the the project. They've ended up expanding it beyond Farmington into the state and even the world based on the diversity of the kids and a lot of the kids not having not grown up in the area. A lot of the families. Um, and even the teachers, I'm, I'm running, I'm running through my head right now, the, of the teachers in social studies. And I don't think any of them have been there more than three years. Whoa. Yeah. I don't, I don't know yeah. any of them um, any longer. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. You know, I'm not from Farmington. Yeah, but you learned yeah. about the local. Yeah. It, 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 they they expanded the topics out. They still do the circus fire. They've done. They still do the um, yeah. flood of '55 as topics, but they've expanded it out to to a lot to kind of engage kids in in some other a larger community um, as well. Yeah. But but I mean it's 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 worth trying. I, the f photography contest would, I think, would appeal to the high schoolers as well, and they'd have a little bit more means to 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 carry it out versus the middle school kids too. Okay. Okay. All right. Um, does somebody want to see? I know that photography contests are are popular. They're most, they're probably. Uh, on the internet, there's probably guidelines from some organization somewhere. Does somebody want to kind of see if they can look up? I'll connect mm -hmm. with with Miner, with Andrew Miner, and see because uh, because again, as Steve said and um, Garrett said, I think is that uh, about the the displays up upstairs in the um, the Board of Ed and and the art department has actually done exhibits down at the museum as well. So. Oh, great. Okay. Good. Okay, great. Thanks, Matt. Yep. All right. Great. All right. Good. All right. I think it's your turn, Gary. <laughs> um, <laughs> patient. Tuesday night, there was a town council meeting. Um, they voted to approve and amend the town ordinance to include nine Waterville Road in the Farmington Historic District. Um, so that's another out house added to Farmington Historic District, and it's the third one added on Waterville Road in, in a year and a half, I think. Mm -hmm. um, well, they, they added one there. Uh-oh. They ahead of us. Oh, there. Yeah. <laughs> I, think got, I think they've got a pretty big head start. We got some bounds over there. So that's all set. And then uh, the 1928 building plans have been submitted. Um, I don't think they're on the town website right now, but we have them upstairs if anyone wants to, to come look at them um, for the new town hall um, and demolition of the old uh, high school buildings, not the original high school buildings, the old ones. Yeah. Um, so the, there'll be a new vestibule off the back, so that won't affect the front of the building, yeah. um, mm -hmm. but they're actually proposing to rebuild um, the two side entrances yeah. uh, to be historically accurate. 
because um, I think right now they're, they're just kind of like an overhang on one side. Um, but those will, those will be like the, the second exits for the stairs. Yeah. Um, but they'll still be the main main vestibule on the back. Right. Um, but like I said, I got the plans upstairs, so if anyone wants to take a look at them. Are they taking down both the gyms too? They I heard, yes. I heard that maybe yes. they were staying. They're, they're taking down the gyms, but they're leaving the band room, and that's going to be converted into a, a gymnasium for for park and rec. Oh, okay. Um, so there'll be a, there's a, there'll be a gymnasium, there'll be a classroom space. Oh. Um, Nice. That's very nice. Um, it, it'll that'll be the town stuff up there. Yeah, I, I, all the meetings will still be down here, as far as I'm aware. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know why. But. <laughs> will your office be here or there? Uh, my office will be up there, but I got to come down here from my okay. meeting. So. Okay. <laughs> um, Great. And then Matt obviously will be in a different building. So. Yeah, I'll be in the. Uh, they're leaving the 900 wing, which is the newest part, and that's where central office is going as well as um, they're going to add an additional team room there, too. Beautiful. So Matt gets to move into the newest building. I get to move into the oldest building. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I, um, prefer, so I prefer your building. <laughs> I know. So the public hearing will be set for uh, February 12th. Um, and that's just to convert it from a school building to a town building. Uh, but like I said, we've got we've got elevation drawings upstairs. If anyone wants to take a look, so and it, do we email you to let you know when we can come, or what, what's the best way to access? Do right now, if you want, right after now? the meeting. But I'd love to do that. You don't mind? Counter, so okay, counter. great. Yes. Okay, excellent. You excited about this? This is yes. My office will double in size. Saying a lot. Yeah, that's that's huge. Good. Well, all right. Let's go take a look at the those Thanks. drawings. Anything else? No, that's all I've got. Anybody have anything else you want to bring up? Or um, can I have a motion to adjourn the meeting? Thanks, Kelly. And Steve will do a second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank Aye. you. All right.